All right, what's up, y'all? We're in the backyard today. It's a beautiful day outside, and I got a chicken that's ready for the grill. If y'all checked out Cookhouse at Home's meal kits this week, we're doing a spatchcock chicken. This is a great way to take a whole chicken. We just trim the backbone out, spread it out nice and flat, and it's perfect for the grill. So I got my grill started. It's banging hot. We're gonna get this bad boy on there and get it moving for supper. So it's got the backbone removed already. So it lays nice and flat on the grill. Look at that. Perfect, and that's all you gotta do. We're gonna keep that off the heat a little bit uh, so it starts to grill on the bones first and let those kind of warm up and heat up all the meat and then we'll finish it on the skin side. So basically, I've got uh, my grill on. It's, it's kind of like medium heat right now, not super hot, because um, we're gonna let that heat grow as we cook it. We wanna cook this thing slow all the way through. It's gonna take about 20 or 30 minutes, and then toward the end, when that flame's starting to heat up, we'll flip that skin over, get a little bit of char on it, and it's gonna come out amazing. All right, I'm gonna check on this chicken. It's only been a few minutes, but you know, it's kinda hard to wait. It smells good already, so I'm gonna get into it and see where we're at. Check this bad boy out. Ooh, look at that. Smoke's looking good. No flare-ups or anything yet, so I think we're on the right track. Oh yeah, looking good. Chicken needs a little time, so we're gonna just move that a little bit over this way. And let that have another 10 or 15 minutes. But since that's not ready, I know I'm ready for some bubbles. Hey, hon, what's, what's up for dinner? What's up, Mama? Oh, Just in time. I'm so hungry, and I smelled something. I had to stop over here and see what's up. All and right. I see you've got bubbles. Got a nice little bottle of rosé, some bubbles from the cookhouse. Clavet or Calvet? Looks fabulous. It's the Calvet. Beautiful. All right. Rosé all day, baby. We got the sparkling Ooh. stuff here. So Let's what's on the grill? Here. Cheers. I'm going to leave mine here. Yeah, cheers. Ching, ching. Ching, ching. All right. Good timing. We're going to check on the bird. <laughs> So I guess you can smell it. I can smell it. You know, it, moms right. can smell that chicken from like way on the other side of the house. <laughs> Good time to check him out. Let's see where we're at. Well, I knew this was your latest cookhouse at home meal kit, but yes, I didn't indeed. really know what it meant. Um, spatchcock chicken. Spatchcock. It's super easy. It's really just the cut that wow. we're doing. Look at that. Looking That's good. Beautiful. Huh? So, is that the marinade that makes it look so? Yeah, we just did a nice little marinade with some Cajun seasoning, a little achiote, some lemon, and some grapefruit. Fantastic. So, what is turn. spatchcock kit chicken? Spatchcock what chicken. Does it really mean? It's just the cut of the bird, so we cut the backbone out. Like you saw how I just flipped it over a little bit. This guy cut the spine out. And uh, it allows you to lay it down flat like this, so you could cook it like in a, in a skillet, um, or you could cook it on the grill like this, and it just cooks more evenly. It cooks faster than if you're doing a whole bird, and instead of having a whole bird in here and doing like a beer can chicken or something, this really allows you to get the, the thighs cooked and the breast cooked and the wings and everything really nice and even. So you if got, you're going to come home after work and you're really tired but you're dying to have that grilled meat, this is a fast way to do it, right? It I'll do it nice and fast, nice and even. Ooh, fabulous. And you get all that crispy skin. It's like so good. So you can find the, yours. What's the at marinade? At home. What, what kind of marinade? Is that a cookhouse yeah. thing or can you just put whatever you want on it? Or? No, we, so we marinated these ahead of time for the uh, cookhouse at home meal kits. But you can do whatever you want. If you want to do this like barbecue style, you can do a little barbecue season on it. You could do a wet rub. You could do a dry rub. You could do this thing like straight out of the pack with some salt and pepper, and it'll be good to go. So long as you give it a good amount of time on like on the bone side, so it cooks most of the way through with the bones underneath, and it gets all hot that way. And then we just finish it on the skin side to get some some color and cook that fat out a little bit. Oh my Ooh, god, wee. it smells so good. It smells crazy good. This goes with just about anything too, right? Yes, indeed. You know, the hardest part of this is just waiting for it to finish. <laughs> right. Because it smells it looks so good. But if you're looking, it ain't cooking. So, so I'm going to get that lid closed. So how long Leave does it alone. take to cook, do you think? It depends. I let my birds sit out at room temperature for like 30 minutes before I start cooking it. So it kind of gets a little bit more even temperature throughout and you're not throwing a 38 degree chicken on the hot grill. So that's a great technique if you're cooking a big piece of meat or even a steak if you're going to put anything on the grill like that. I always try and leave stuff out at room temp for like 30 minutes to an hour before and you'll get a much more even cook when you go to put it on the grill because the inside's not as cold as when it comes straight out of the fridge. 
So you marinate it for a couple of hours? Yeah, we marinated that since this morning, and so it's probably been about 12 hours uh, on marinade. You oh could do goodness. it for two, three days before if you want. It's just going to get better and better. But that'll just put some nice flavor in there and get all the way into the bones. Mm, perfect. It's going to be delicious. Fantastic. Cookhouse at home. Hey. <laughs> all right. I can smell this chicken from all, like, three feet away because I can't seem to get much further than that from the grill. Ooh, can't wait. Let's get into it, see how we're looking. It smells so good, fam. Ooh-wee, look at it. Mmm. All right, I know the bottom's gonna look delicious. That marinade is killing it. Look at it, juicy. All right, we're gonna flip it. You ready? All right, I'm gonna get that right over the heat and start to get some color on that skin. I'm gonna get that a few more minutes. Maybe like 10 minutes if I can hold out that long. I think we can do it. We're about to get this chicken off. It is ready. At least I think so. I'm gonna make sure I got my little thermometer. Got a plate for moving it. Got what I need. Let's check it out. Ooh wee. This looks awesome. Wow, look guys. It's dinner. Yeah, boy. See, those kids can smell it from over there. I'm checking right. it. Reading 168, 170. I'm checking like the thickest parts of the bird just to make sure. 168 is like perfect. It's going to keep cooking a few more degrees. It'll probably get it up to just about 175. So, that, that thing's ready to come off. Let's do it. Who's ready for Pick dinner, boy? Me. Ooh, wait. Look at that. Let me get that thing out of there and we're going to put it over here to rest for a minute. Man, this looks awesome. Skin is going to be nice and crispy. So should it rest when it comes out of the grill? Yeah, with any meat, especially a bigger cut, something like this, I'm going to give that about five minutes to rest. Uh, if you're doing like a big roast or uh, even a steak, anything you want it to be nice and juicy and not dry out, you got to make sure you give it a few minutes just to hang out uh, at room temperature so that the juices kind of start to stabilize and that it doesn't get uh, dried out. If you cut it right now, all the juice is going to come out and it's going to end up being a drier cut of meat. And so we're going to give this a few minutes to just kind of carry over cook, which is where temperature is going to go up a few more degrees. It's going to relax a little bit and then it's going to be perfect when we get into it. All right, we're gonna get into it. Time to serve this bird up. We are all ready. Everybody's starving because I took so long to cook, at least in their minds. I thought it was pretty quick. But we'll go through cutting this chicken. I know spatchcock chicken's a new thing to a lot of people. Super easy to prepare. You really couldn't do a, a, a whole bird any easier than this. So now let's see how to cut it. Really easy. You get four quarters out of a chicken. So we've got our breast all up here. We've got one leg with the drumstick on, another one on this side. We've got some clean tongs. I'm just gonna cut through the skin right here. And watch this, that whole leg comes right off. Didn't even have to really cut anything. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I got my two legs, I got my two breasts, and my two wings. Um, so that is looking Pretty easy if you ask me. We'll take this knife and cut right down the middle. That separates my two breasts with the wings. And I'm just gonna cut this down a little bit more. I'm gonna take the thigh and the drumstick, take that right off. If you follow this, it's kind of tricky, but if you follow the line of where this meat goes right here, that thigh, it'll usually lead you right about to where the joint is. And even for me, it's not always foolproof, but it's a good place to where you can cut right through and you shouldn't have to cut any bone. I'll try with this one to see if I can get a better shot on the first one. Cut right down through it and there it is. No bone cut, just right through the, between the bones. Nice and easy cut. We got my two drumsticks looking delicious. Two thighs, crispy skin. I can hear it just moving around on the board. It's like sounding nice and crispy. I'm going to cut these breasts in half just so I got a little better portions for the kiddos. Now we're ready to eat. That's it. Man, that chicken looks crazy good. I'm going to give them a little bit of pasta on the plate. Actually, I'm going to bring it over there and we'll do it family style. It sounds a little better to me. Throw this pasta up here. Get my tongs. Tongs for the bird. Let's hook it up. Y'all ready? Yes. Yay! 
I know, everybody's starving. starving. Let's hit it up. We got room. Yum. Thanks for clearing some space for me, y'all. Y'all, here's welcome. All right, let's do it. Dinner. I'll start with my lady. Can I have your plate, little one? Mm -hmm. Can you just hand your plate to daddy? All right, Kalyan, she's the big eater in the house, right? <laughs> usually the first one done and eats the biggest plate. Oh, no, don't I don't usually know that. <laughs> not. But she does love some white meat, so I'm gonna hook her up. She's yum, not her likes that white meat. Let's put your napkin mm -hmm. in your lap. What do you say? Thank you. There you go, you got it, baby. Oh, <laughs> Some good strong plates by Miss Shelley. All right, who wants a thigh? Well, somebody's gonna get it. Me. I'll take it. Nobody else does, cause that's my fave. I know, Jan. This kid loves some pasta. All right, y'all. We're gonna get this thing started. I'm starving. This has been a really nice meal to cook. Pretty easy. Just put the chicken on the grill. We had some pasta already cooked from yesterday. Cookhouse did an amazing job of putting together a really beautiful supper for us. I'm so happy to see menus changing every day. Uh, I let the guys take care of it all today. Thank you guys. Much love to the Cookhouse fam. Y'all give them some love because they're killing it over there. So we're just thankful for all of y'all. Um, thank you guys so much for blessing us uh, and your support. Please check us out, cookhouseathome.com. Get your meal kits. We got some delicious suppers at cookhouserestaurant.com. I'm just excited about everything we got going on. So thank you guys. We're getting ready to eat. La c'est le bon temps roulé, baby. Let's grub.